Welcome to Bashua's Moment with Pastor Charles Chiaga. Praise the Lord, brethren. We are back again on our program called the Pashua's Moment. And I'm your servant called Pastor Charles Chiaga. And I'm standing on your great site called Zion Pashua's Prayer Mountain. This is a site dedicated to the cause of seeking after God. It is a site that is your, that is your site. It is a place you should, you should choose to come. It is a place open 24-7 and people are wa waiting for you here to, to host you here and you can have all this vast expanse of 50 acres of land for you to find yourself a corner anywhere, come around, sit around a stone like one of these and then uh, meditate, talk to God. There is an open heaven over this site. God will, will answer you. This God that you think is far away, when humanity chooses to draw closer to God, God is not far. He's not far from us. Eh? But when we pay no damn, we pay no attention to him, he, he appears like he's not there. But God is closer than anybody. God is so close to us. He's like the, the air we breathe. He's the source that sustains us. He's the very life that keeps us going. So, God is not far, but when we do not pay attention to him, he appears to be far away. But when we come down here uh, to this site that was dedicated to this cause, you'll be amazed at the openness of the heavens around this site, and you'll hear God speak again. Now today is a Friday, and every Friday we have a, a prayer vigil here. We spend a whole night in prayer. We have a prayer, a prayer altar on this site. So come and let us spend a night here in the presence of the Lord, calling out, seeking God, and crying out to God. It is only God who can sort us out. The many troubles that we face, many times we do not even have a clue of how to go and circumvent them. But God knows. And that's why I encourage you to walk this journey of seeking God and drawing close to God. Uh, yesterday, I just want us to continue uh, with, uh, with our teaching, uh, we saw uh, God, verses 26, God going to create a, a, a unique being, a unique creature of all the creations that he had created. And this creature is called man. He said, let us create man in our image according to our likeness. Our image. Eh? And according to our likeness. So, we do not only bear the image of God, but we also bear the likeness of God. We should ideally bear the character of God. It's like you can have your child who can, who can be like you in looks, but completely, completely divergent in character. Completely. But God did not create us to be like him in looks. But he created us to be like him in looks and likeness. Meaning, it's not a resemblance, it's not only the image, but also the character. Like you, a father, you'll be proud to see a son that looks like you. But you would be even more proud if that son does not only look like you, but takes on your character. You'll be a proud father. Of your son. I have a son who looks very much like me and actually comes and tells me, Daddy, they tell me eh, you resemble your dad. Is it true that I resemble you? <laughs> and I tell him, and the mother feels upset, says, Who tells you that? <laughs> I said, There's no trouble for this boy to look like me. But the only trouble is if he looks like me, but his character does not resemble my character. Eh? So, so God did not create us to look like him only, but he created us to have the image of him and to be exactly like him. So we resemble him in form and in character. That's how we are created. That's, that was God's idea from the beginning. Then he said, let them have dominion. Because God is a governor. God is a, a ruler. God is a king. So if he has his children, then he creates them to be kings. He creates them to be rulers. So he said, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and everything that creeps on the earth. 
Eh? So God created us to be dominant, to be, to domain, eh? to be able to govern. He created us to be his governor down here. Because of the mess that had happened and there was complete distortion of the earth, when God reorganized it, he put there govern, a governor. And that governor was a human being. And if that human being would align with God's plan, that human being will become a real governor. But eventually things did not play out very well, as we shall see. But we have a route to trace our, our walk back. And we can gain our position again. And this is why I call you to join the ranks of the audacity God. God bless you. We'll begin from there tomorrow. Remember tonight, we are spending a night here. Don't go back home. Let us come here and cry to God and trace our way back. Eyo yeba de pasiwas moment ngikutuse pasiwas pasiwa pasiwa junior school eri sangibwa mu butambala kukubo lya mpiji gombe kati ulire nkize liwo singo twalo mwana ku pasiwas junior school interviews za bwedeli esomero limiride ku musinjo gutya katonda atengo mwana agunjulwa bakugu tutumbule bitone byenja ulu mu mwana tulina amazza mayinjo ku somero atengo mwana wasomera ne wiyibaka abanga mu kongo india yaba yizi nunji byansoso anti emere tujirimira ngane famu yete weri ku somero tulina motoke zitambuza abana pasiwas junior school ebutambala tusome Sabano kuva mu baby class okutoka ku kibine cyo musamvu mudene boarding okumanya bisinga wo zero musamvu musamvu biri ana muemu cyenda munana ana ne zero musamvu zero biri asatu mukaga ana muemu nkaga munya pasiwas junior school butambara in pursuit of knowledge